So one more time for Duval County, man, Jacksonville, Florida. I was born and raised in that place. So they had a big, big win this weekend, man, this Saturday night. So they beat the Chargers 31 to 30. But the Chargers was up 27 points, and the Jaguars came right back, man, ran the charge, whatever, Trevor Lawrence, four touchdowns. We talked about this stuff earlier. And with a big field goal at the end. So, Jordan, what do you think? Do you think that the Chargers just lost this game or the Jaguars won this game? Which one do you think it is? The Chargers definitely lost this game. But if you're asking me who's to blame for it, it's head coach Brandon Staley. No doubt, no question. This dude, right? So, like you said, blowing a 27 to nothing lead. Okay. Three points in the second half. Okay. Head coach Brandon Staley is in his second year as head coach of the Los Angeles Chargers. He's posted a 19 and 15 record. Uh, didn't make the playoffs last year, made the playoffs this year, had the biggest collapse we've ever seen so far. So three reasons why this loss is on their head coach. First reason is Mike Williams not being available. He was injured because you had him playing in a meaningless game last week against the Denver Broncos when y'all had already clinched the playoffs. Right. Very stupid. Just Dumb paid him. Dumb just paid him all that money, and then he wasn't even available in the most right. crucial game of the year. Anyways, number two, you only ran the ball eight times in the second half despite having a double-digit lead and a plus-five turnover differential. If that's right. not crazy, I don't know what is. With Austin Eckler. Which brings me to number three, Austin Eckler. The heart and soul of this offense, a man solely responsible for a great deal of the Los Angeles Chargers success this season and the number one running back in fantasy football, I might add, ladies and right. gentlemen. Mm -hmm. He had six total touches in the second half of this game. Six touches. He touched the ball six times, Sam. That's stupid. When you got a big lead like that, you're trying to run out the clock. You're not trying to throw the ball. Why would you even do that? One would think. But if you're Brandon Staley, I guess that doesn't matter. And granted, I know this dude was a, a primary defensive mind before he came over there. But mm -hmm. there's no excuse for this as a head coach. Second year, first year, it doesn't matter. Nobody should, you know, lose this. The one person that might get a pass for losing a big collapse like this is Jeff Saturday when that happened to the Colts because right. mm -hmm. he had no experience coaching no coach at any experience. level outside of mm -hmm. no high school. You know, Brandon Staley has had way more coaching experience, so you're held to a way higher standard. But exactly. I blame the coach, bro. Who you who you blaming? What you think? Bro, it's mostly the coach, but Herbert too, man. Herbert only threw one touchdown. Like he wasn't like tearing it up or nothing like that or whatever. They had the short fields. So they would give it to Eckler. They would do those things or whatever. But like you say, with uh, Staley, Coach Staley, how do you play Mike Williams in a game that you don't even need to win, bro? You already said it. Have your guys or whatever go out there, maybe one quarter. This man got hurt in the third quarter. It's no reason for him to be out there, bro, for real. And y'all playing against Russell Wilson and, and, and the less rag guys, for real. Like, that, that doesn't mean anything. That performance was so bad by Herbert, by their standards. They fired their uh, offensive coordinator, Joe Lombardi, and their quarterback, Shane Day, the team just announced uh, yesterday. So Yeah, yeah, because that's crazy, bro. That's so crazy. Like, you got to, man, you got to do better. But see, the Chargers are known for that stuff, man, those collapses. Even way back in the 90s and freaking 2000, Phillip Rivers. Bro, so many collapses, bro. That's what it is. But like I said, man, man, the Chargers have never been the team to beat anyway. Jaguars beat the shit out of them the first game. But I just, like I say, Trevor Lawrence had all those, touch, those uh, interceptions or whatever early too. And then the fumble off the guy's head. So you don't. So you blame more of the coaching uh, for Justin Herbert's struggles. You're not saying Justin Herbert's the problem, right? No. no. Okay. Okay. But the game plan. The game plan for him. Exactly. Like I said, he's supposed to run the ball. Man, this man should have had. They should have had 30 rushing attempts in the second half, bro. Like right. that's all I'm trying. That's all I'm trying to do. And maybe little dink and dunk throws, maybe eight throws or whatever in the second half, bro. There's no way you throw the ball that many times and you up that many points. What are you trying to prove here? You feel me? Yeah, it should have been. It should have been like the Georgia TCU game. The boy should have been eating wings. 
He should have been eating wings on the sideline <laughs> and chilling for real, sipping some Hennessy or something. You feel me? Like, yeah, let's go to the next week. Damn, no, so y'all don't do that. Yeah, that's crazy because Justin Herbert's been killing it, man. And he's been killing it his first three seasons. He's he passed Andrew Luck for passing yards in his first three seasons. He's been having a really good first few years. So, yeah, they need to get him more guidance over there, get him better coaching, uh, putting him in, in better uh, places to succeed, better positions to, to succeed. So, right. um, uh, and also Mike Williams and Keenan Allen only playing together for four games this year. That's crucial injuries that's why Eckler's been doing everything so mm-hmm. but yeah I, I I blame the coach overall it's on Staley uh, I'm not saying fire him but you got to learn from your mistakes I mean you're two years in this loss was on you and right. it was it was definitely on you for not making a change to that shit it's a tough division and it's a tough division indeed but your team is way too talented to make to not make noise year in and year out with the playoff win expectations it's that right. simple definitely got the second best quarterback behind my homes. So like I say, Herbert been out there whatever thrown for 400 plus yards, man, plenty games. So that's why I don't understand like what happened. Like everything just slowed down. Like, I don't, I don't know, bro. But shout out to Duval, man. Duval County, Jacksonville, Florida, baby. For real, y'all boys is up right now. You feel me? Shout out. That was a great win. I don't know how long that streak is going to continue, but I mean, hey, you, you want a playoff game and for the first year head coach, that's make that's that's progress, man. I'm, I'm, I'm ecstatic. I'm ecstatic. Yeah.